Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello, and welcome back to the channel where you join me today back at Dub Customs and back with my new Shmi Mobile, the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, which is here to undergo a transformation. And today we're gonna see some of this process as it takes place. The volcano gray paintwork is being changed with a wrap in midnight green. We're gonna be changing the wheels as well. Today we'll see some of the panels being wrapped to see the color, to see how it looks when it starts to take shape on this car. Then we're gonna be taking the wheels off because I'm taking those over to Whoops Will Fix It, who are going to be painting them gold. It's going to be dark green and gold, along with a few other accents to come as well. But like I said, today we'll see how this all takes place. The car is fully charged up. Some of the parts have been removed to make the process easier. You can see some other parts have been masked up as well. We'll talk through all of this. It's been a long time since I had a car vinyl wrapped, but today we're going to see as the Taycan changes midnight green here at Dub Customs. I brought it in the other day, parked it up here, although the company has changed. We now have a nice Hurricane Spider alongside, but the Taycan is ready to start the process, to start the vinyl wrap work itself. As you can see, parts have been removed, things like door handles, and the reason you do that is so that you can do the entire panel basically in one part. So the door mirrors as well, otherwise you'd have to have a join line just above. Then when it comes to the masked areas, as you can see, the reason for this is to stop any dirt that could get on the underside of the vinyl, but also to stop the vinyl from sticking down in awkward places as well. I think a few other things maybe the roofline trims will need to be pulled out but the badges have been taken off the same with the headlights because of the way they're finished you want to have those masked to make it all a little bit easier but let me just come through quickly to remind you of what exactly we're doing we have the roll just here of the metallic midnight green of course it's quite hard to see when it's on a, a vinyl roll like this it will look completely different when that's on the actual car but we're going to see some of that as it all starts to happen here i've popped the charger away back in the boot for the time being but i think we're gonna get started maybe with a door maybe with a wing panel we'll have to see exactly what happens before we pop it up onto axle stands as well to take off these wheels the very very large 21 inch mission e style wheels because i'm going to be taking those in the g63 which is outside over to whoops will fix it to make those gold because i really want to make this car that dark green and gold color combination that's actually been my plan with it since day one so let's see how all of this is going to unfold we've got a piece here that's ready and it's quite funny because from some angles it almost doesn't actually look all that different but when this is on the car you are going to see the pops of that green look at this she does just try and unroll it ever so slightly look at that color this is going to look fantastic on the Taycan when you have a car like this a large car with big body panels I think it always looks better in a darker color especially when you then have accents like wheels like some of the halo design features we're going to be adding to it but this is a really high quality material in fact for a vinyl wrap look at that reflection it's almost like paint. This is amazing. This is going to look brilliant when it's on the car. Cannot wait to see some of this happening. Up it goes. Suspension all set up correctly over on this side already. Sitting on axle stands, of course, because then we shall take off the wheels, which are gigantic 21 inch wheels all around. Obviously quite a low profile tire. So it's going to be an interesting challenge on its own to get these into the G-Wagon but I think we'll probably manage it. And yes, I know in a way it's a shame to sh change away from the gloss black and metallic silver that you have as standard. You actually get these wheels, by the way, the mission -E style wheels, like on the concept when they originally launched that. If you have a white car with white painted dual tone and any other color comes with silver painted dual tone, but these are gonna be going single tone, all gold, and we'll see that later. I'm not quite sure what the gold with the yellow calipers will look like, but the yellow calipers are the ceramics that you have with the Turbo S. So we're gonna be keeping those standard feature uh, to have on this car. Off come all of the wheel nuts, and of course the massive wheel can be removed from the car. And I tell you what, have a look at the size of the disc and the caliper on the front axle. Totally, totally ludicrous. And then these wheels aren't exactly small. One of the first steps is to work out the different pieces. So of course, we've got a lot of vinyl, different rolls already packaged away, having measured out the various sections of the car, because when you have, for example, significantly larger parts, like the A-pillar all the way across the roof line to the rear quarter, that is one single piece, about three meters, 40 centimeters of material. But out of that shape, when you've trimmed around it, you've then got the doors. You need to be careful with this material because of the qualities of the finish. You want to have it all in the one direction. So you want to have every part effectively running from front towards the back of the car. So it's important to get all of this right when the guys are working on it. And then start with the installation, which I think in this case is going to be driver's door up first with the roll to come for this. 
The last part of the panel prep is to use some surface cleaner to make sure that nothing is left because any dust or anything that could be on the panel will show through the vinyl. You'll get a significantly amplified effect basically due to the way it works. But prior to that, everything has been clayed, everything has been completely gone over to get rid of any waxes or materials basically left on it that could have been done from new, for example, at the dealership, often to hide the paint, almost defects that it comes with, um, which is a pretty standard thing to be honest. But obviously in this case, you want the smoothest, perfect possible, perfectly clean possible panel to start working from. Back rolling the material. This is the first step then of the car technically going a little bit green. Of course, EV, green, yes. I'm sure that joke had to be made at some point. Obviously a careful process to make sure it's lined up, particularly with some of the odd shapes that this car has. For example, just here, there's actually a slight indentation. The material is air release, which means slightly easier to remove bubbles, but start work from the main high lines, in this case, the shoulder along the car. We can start to see what this color will look like. There's always a small effect when it's actually down on the car itself in terms of the base color. And this is actually really thick, which does make it quite hard work to install, but should in theory hide what would be left underneath. We can get a small sense of the change from the gray to the green. This is where it's a careful process with the squeegee to go over the entire panel and you can see quite how green it is now looking and in fact the yellow highlights in the green which should look quite nice as well with the gold wheels I think that's going to result in the perfect outcome but carefully doing this using the shape of the car obviously working through the indentations to some of the higher levels and the protruding parts of the panel working all the way through it from experience the guys here to know obviously exactly what to do. I'm not sure I would have a clue where to even begin. But you can start to see how this is coming together and taking effect. The very unusual thing down at the bottom of this particular car though is that there aren't any sills to wrap. Normally you would have a lower sill running the full length that would be in body colour. Here we just have the fairly cheapy satin plastic parts of the carbon accent. Basically the door comes right the way down and to the arches uh, at the rear as well. So there's just this tiny sill piece up towards the front wheels, but that looks like it's gone into place okay. Looking absolutely lovely, that colour is spot on. Then comes a bit of heat to go over the various parts, for example on the door handles to make sure it runs around the various shapes, and the film is also self-healing, which means any scratches from the squidgy get taken out by a bit of heat as well. It also helps to basically settle it and stick everything in place. Obviously there'll be some trimming to go around all of the edges, and you can see where there, for example, the door mirrors will then be reattached. Cool to see the process and it's very cool to see the color change because earlier you couldn't quite tell how green it was now we'll see with the panel in place it's a different story there's no debate about what color it is and i think this is going to really suit this car very 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 well after trimming away comes the excess material and we start to get a better picture this is really really good and then obviously heat again to help with the wrapping around of the edges on the door here and obviously along the top you get the extra trim panel that will go back on which sharpens it up even more but i'm very very pleased with the color that we're going here time for the back door back roll take that away the film actually comes with a laminate over the top of it this then goes roughly into place material in place back with the squeegee running over it starting again from the high lines it's fascinating to see how it goes from being that rough material to ultimately sticking perfectly to the shapes of the car, then being trimmed out and giving the completely new look. Like I said, it's been a while since we've done this with one of the Schmiermobiles, but the plan was always with the Taycan. It won't be a permanent car in the garage, so I couldn't have it necessarily painted or wait a year, I guess, for a new car to come in exactly the right color I would have gone for. So it made sense to purchase one in the Volcano Grey, which was carefully chosen because obviously for things like the door shuts uh, and the various other parts of the car, the grey, keeps it perfectly hidden behind and also as a, a color for the you know effectively the primer layer underneath it's a great base as well shortly the rear door will also be in place the second door is now finished and looking awesome of course the handles need to be completed and then reinstalled as well but the color of this is turning out brilliantly and remember you need to see the finished product it's very hard to gauge the look of a color change when you've got this dual tone patchy look going on but mark my words this will suit the Taycan very very well much darker like I said than the standard mamba green that you can have on the Taycan but much more up my street than the standard volcano gray that we have on this car so next up is to take these wheels outside to get them loaded into the G to take them over 
over to be transformed as well. And then when we come back in a couple of days time, we will see this substantially more green, if not completed, ready for the wheels to be reinstalled and a few more details and touches, as I've mentioned, but there's a lot more to go. So a big thanks to Dub. The car is now safely in their hands and we will see it again soon. We're on the move in the G63 with a boot full of Taycan Turbo S wheels. The 21 inch Mission E wheels are gigantic. Of course, you could stack them up a little bit higher, but the last thing you want when you're transporting wheels is that they're moving around. So they're kind of wedged in a nice way. But the last time I took wheels in here were the much smaller ones from the Focus RS. And the difference in size is absolutely absurd. How hard it is to fit. I mean, you couldn't fit a second set uh, in full of these in the back. We've got about a half an hour drive to get to Whoops Wheel Fix It. Guys I met recently, super friendly, super awesome, who are going to be doing the transformation to these wheels where we'll take a look at some of the paint samples and colors. But basically, they're going to be going Aurum Gold, which is the- average speed check zone. Average speed check zones everywhere in this country. Aurum Gold, which is, well, you'll see it when we get there and I'll be able to show you in more detail. And then when they come back to the green car, I think they're gonna be spot on. We are arriving then, right here is where we're coming to, whoops, we'll fix it. And mad props for the name, because whoops is the first thing you say when normally you curb a wheel, and they will fix it, which I find quite funny. Anyway, we will go in, say hello, get these wheels out, and go show you the sample of what we're doing. I'm surrounded here at Whoops by many wheels and tyres and of course we have safely transported the Taycan wheels which by the way are gigantic. 305 wide rears, 265 wide fronts but the last time we're going to be seeing these in their original state as they were supplied because these wheels are going to be fully changed to Aurum. The original Porsche colour that you can actually get on the Taycan wheels a very very light gold which will suit the dark green incredibly well. This is a sample wheel. You will notice it's an AMG wheel, but the guys have kindly painted it up as a sample so that I can see what it would look like. Now, one topic of discussion we do have surrounds the center caps, because these are, of course, black with the chrome silver outline, which stands out a lot on this. Now, if you have the Taycan wheels in this color originally, you do get a different set of center badges with gold around here, a silver Porsche badge, and gold for the bezel as well. So I might need to order up a set of those. We shall see. For the time being, I guess we'll just stick these in and decide from there. But it's interesting as well because in the exact same paint color as this, we will also paint up the badges on the outside of the car and try and match a few stripes and small halo pin stripes around the exterior of the carbon fiber. This color certainly gets my vote. I think it's gonna look brilliant. Obviously at the moment we can't see it exactly on the car itself, but I'm quite looking forward to the final result in due course. So these are gonna be in the same hands of the team here. Literally at whoops, we'll fix it, which I think is such, such a fun name. And then when I come back to pick them up, They'll be in this colour, Aurum, ready to be taken out to the car to be fitted back on it, which I cannot wait for. I've just been having a crash course in how the equipment here works. I'm going to take you quickly through the process of what my wheels are going to be doing before we see them next. So they will start here in the acid bath where the paint will be stripped off them. Then they go into the metal shot blaster to finish the surface. They would come here if any refurb work was required to finish up the edges if they'd been curved or anything like that. Then they come here to be put through the oven where they get baked to 230 degrees. This is actually an automated machine that then comes around to this side where they get their base primer. To go gold, they get a black primer inside here or they come around with their base coat where they'll then be finished with a gloss finish. All wheels at OEM standard have a gloss finish initially. They go back through to be baked. This is actually, these are actually lacquered wheels in white because what happens is when the lacquer goes through the oven, that's when they cure and you can see the color changes. It goes transparent and you see what's underneath. When they've then been baked again, they come back around to get a satin top coat to give them the effect of the sample wheel that we just saw, all going through these machines, and they could, if you're doing some diamond cut work on top, go through there as well. But fascinating to see actually how that works and to learn a little bit about it before we see these wheels all finished. Small surprise change of plans. I'm back at Dub Customs because we have come here with the wheel. Come here to come and have a look at how it will stack up against the paintwork of the car because we have one big question. So this is the wheel, of course, that was painted in what is called 2019 Aurum, the color that we think goes with the Taycan. If you order Aurum from Porsche, this is what you'd get. Now, here, 
we have the previous paint colour for Orem, which as you can see is significantly more of a traditional gold as opposed to the very yellow look that you have from these. And this, by the way, matches perfectly with the coloured accents that you have inside the car for the cup holders, the touches on the steering wheel, the door handles, etc. Those are all in this colour. So basically, it's a bit of a debate as to what exactly we're going to go with, because I have just called Porsche to order, as I said, the gold centre caps, and we don't know if they're going to be that colour gold or this colour gold. So it's a decision to be made. I'm leaning at the moment towards these ones, but we might have to see which way this goes, and then maybe afterwards we might even have to change it. So for the time being, we're going to take this back to Whoops will fix it. We've also got the badges here from the back of the car, which will be painted obviously with aerosol as opposed to powder coat from on the wheels, and hopefully this is going to end up right. Hopefully, in any case, because of the way this colour has some yellow undertones, I mean, you can see that with the reflection of the lights. I think with the slightly yellowy gold wheels, they'll suit it very, very well. And that, by the way, in the background was the startup of a pista. So we've got the yellow calipers, we've got a slightly yellow gold wheel, we've got some yellow undertones in the wrap material. I think that's going to work. I think that's the set we'll take today. We've made it back to Whoops, where as you can hear, all the machines are currently running. It is very, very loud. Lots of wheels are being refurbished, being repainted, and mine are currently actually inside the acid bar. They'll be in there for about two and a half hours. But because those wheels have an element of magnesium content in them, you guys have to check on them very regularly to make sure it's all running to plan. But we have now made a final decision of exactly what we're doing. It is going to be this shade as we have on the sample wheel, this shade of Aurum. We will see when the centre caps arrive, if they're correct, if the centre caps are slightly different, we can repaint those, masking off the Porsche crests in silver that they come with. Then in addition to the wheels, they're going to be doing the Taycan Turbo S badges that have come from the back of the car in an aerosol variant of the same paint colour, so exactly the same to match. And the guys at Dub Customs also found a vinyl that is exactly this colour as well to do some of the accents. So this is all going to tie together, it's all going to match on the car, and that is the most important thing. We will have to start with the black centre caps until we change them down the line, but we'll get to that and worry about it when the time comes. But now though, rather than trying to shout over all the machines that are running at the moment, I will wrap things up there. Big thanks to the team here at Woods, big thanks to the guys at Dull. I cannot wait to see how this turns out, we'll see in not very long. That is it for now though, thank you very much for watching, as always guys, I'll see you again very soon.